Again, uh, there's a elder in the house uh, that I met uh, when I got here, sort of been uh, working with our organization from its inception. Let me give you a little background about him. Uh, the family that adopted him adopted me. This was uh, President Tober's uh, Minister of Lands and Mines. This man was the man that mapped out all the mineral deposits throughout the whole country. His name was Golden Baker. Well, Golden Baker was good at multitasking. Not only was he a minister for lands and mines, but he mentored a lot of young men. And he had a farm. And he had a family. And he had a lot of land holding. And uh, this man that I'm uh, getting ready to come up and share some historical history with you guys, he also understands that and directed us uh, to help us formulate this bill for that's going to have 45,000 training jobs, 20,000 people getting a line of credit of $10,000, five sectors, health, housing, education, green energy, Agriculture manufacturing, including rubber, will get $1.5 billion. 7% will go into decentralizing the government, the local government act that's been approved since 2018. Liberians are depending on foreign partners to run their governments. They're putting county governments in each county. And then we'll have the liberalization enforcement, and then we'll have three cooperative owned. Liberian owned agriculture manufacturing mining and green energy companies with a billion dollars a piece to bring back $12 billion over the course of 30 years under this long term environmental sustainable green growth green bond. And we will mineral bank all the minerals in the country now under this bill, we're going to start buying up and mining ourselves where we deposit them here and write financial instruments off our own gold, diamonds, and, and precious rares. And then there's the liberalization enforcement where all the businesses that are supposed to be in the hand of Liberians, we're going to enforce that been on the books for, since 1975. So what I'm going to do, this man is over the ministerial uh, all the ministers in the country. He's uh, also have been working on the Free Liberia Movement. He's the chairman of the Free Liberia Movement, uh, where there's a U.S. visa waiver, where the United States are supposed to let Liberians come to America, but they have not done it since its uh, founding. This was during the American Colonization Society that this law was put on the books in 1820 and they have not done it. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Zorro to you. Thank you. Thank you, Johannes. <clears throat> 